Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to our crochet podcast, episode 46. Welcome back to all my returning subscribers. Hi, so nice to spend this time with you. And if you're new and just popping in for the first time, my name's Krista and this channel is all about crochet and crochet related goodness. We do tutorials, crochet alongs, and uh, some out and abouts. I live in Kenya, so I take you a little bit around Nairobi or around Kenya to share a little bit of what it's like living here. So if any of those things are of interest to you, consider hitting the subscribe button below and the notification bell beside that. We upload every weekday at 8 a.m. Central. We'd love to have you join us. We also do a live community chat on Friday, which is a great place to connect with everybody else. You can also join our Facebook group, that's wonderful and easy for you to upload your own photos and projects that you're working on. And also you can tag me on Instagram at Secret Yarn Ray. So that would be great if you'd like to join us. And now into the crochet bits, finished objects. No, no, no finished objects. So that's great. Okay, off the list. Next, FOPs. That's my new word, almost finished objects, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> so my first AFOP is this Granny on Scotch Table Runner, and if you're wondering why our names for our granny tutorials are so strange, we're doing Granny Mayhem, so all the grannies, it's just a twist on the everyday granny. So this is Granny on Scotch, because it's kind of like hopscotch, but I need to block it and sew in my ends. Yes, I wanted to do it before the podcast, but no, it is already noon on Wednesday. Ah! So no, it's not getting done. Love the colors, all nice and finished up. Have to block it. If you have great blocking suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm thinking of just like a damp towel and then like ironing the towel on top of this, maybe like upside down to get all those shells to behave. You let me know what you would do. It's acrylic with mystery yarn as the metallic. So that is all done and ready. It looks fantastic on my table, but I need to block it and sew in my ends. Next fop is my chair. Okay, I finished it. Okay, I didn't finish it. I, I fopped it. It's almost a finished object, but it looks great. Okay, let me show you. Here is the chair. Let me see. So that's the back. And the front. I just have to finish those two, or there's three actually, half melted grannies for the front on the bottom. And that would finish it up. But I'm wondering if it's too short. See how it's still black down there? So I'm wondering, I could, the option is, I could put this on the front of the chair and then this one on the back and instead of putting halves along here I could put full ones but then I'm not sure what would happen on the side of the chair and then if I put it on a different chair later is it going to be customized to one type of chair don't know the other part that was tricky is was figuring out this corner melted granny because it's a half it's a half uh, melted granny and then instead of stitching it together I just wanted it to be one piece because it's like the corner of your chair. So that took a long time. I knew it needed four shells but then it kept on turning into a square. And then, oh, anyway, sixth time is the charm, or actually the fourth or fifth, but got that figured out and it's a perfect little corner. So that was super easy. I just did uh, like three or like two across and then joined the third onto both sides to turn it into like a little envelope. But I really like how it turned out. I love it. I think I'm just going to do halves and say that's how it is because who knows how long this little office chair is going to be. It could turn into something else later. So anyway. Next uh, work in progress whip is this twiggy dress here. Which I could just show you. So this started out, this is an all, not an alteration, this is a happy, happy, what do you call those happy accidents? Anyway, so this is a happy accident from Mrs. Roper. If you do not know who Mrs. Roper is, let me move that back a tiny bit, uh, Mrs. Roper is from a sitcom from the 70s called Three's Company. 
and she was like the neighbor. So she'd come down, she was quite funny, and she always wore these super bright colored moo-moos, like Hawaiian moo-moo kind of things. So I wanted to do a granny mayhem take on the Mrs. Roper moo-moo by making a four square granny sweater, but like big, like a house coat. And I wanted it to kind of flare after and blah, blah. Anyway, I worked on it on Friday for the live. I thought it would be great to wear it for the live, like a little surprise turned out like such a hot mess. So I did four squares this big-ish and joined it all together, filmed everything. And then the top part basically did look like this, but was so big, it was like joining like way down on my belly and then falling off. Like it was just not appropriate. So I realized, yes, I do want a super big body. Like I want it to be spacious for my body, but my, it still has to join where my armholes should be. Like I don't need it joining halfway down my body. So was frogging back my squares to get to this row. I thought I would try it when I got to the Kavita mint color. And then I just held it up against my body and I was like, oh my gosh, it's totally gonna be like uh, Zelda from N Zelda NRJ3. Love you, Z. Uh, uh, granny square top. So I was like, oh, that'd be great. So I made it and it fit super cute, like nice and like not snug, but like fitted enough so you looked cute. And I just left uh, holes like for the arms, like I just didn't stitch it together the whole way. So it was really, really cute. Yes, I filmed it. And then I was like, let me just turn it into a little bit of a skirt. So I'm really loving it. I'm doing increases. I'm doing three rows without an increase and one row with an increase. But now I think it's, not enough increasing because I want to do I still want to do my Mrs. Roper and I think this would be a great increase for Mrs. Roper but I think for a cute little flirty dress it has to go out more like I need more I need to increase more often on this one and then I could do a cute little belt in the Kavita mint on this top bit it would be so, like you know have like kind of cinch it in and then have a flowy little skirt so I'm talking myself into frogging this back yeah so but I love it, but it kind of looks like a Star Trek dress right now. Like it's just a bit like not, it's not either way. So I want this one, which is already going to be big, to have this kind of increase. So it's just kind of bigger. And then I want this one to be like whoop out. So yes, getting frog back again. Thank you very much. So that is still a work in progress as is Mrs. Roper. But Mrs. Roper is pretty much kind of going into a UFO for now because I'm working on this one, so we'll see. Now, you might have noticed I've moved my room around. Side note before I get to my next whip. My problem was, problem, I love my problems some days. This is one of the problems I love, is I was filming in the middle of the room. This used to be where my TV was, so I would be filming like opposite on that side and then sitting on the sofa is where the coffee table is and all the rest of it and then when anybody came in or my people came over for crochet class love you or my kids came to watch TV or whatever I would be having panic attacks if they're coming too close to my camera like all my stuff is there I had to move my stuff so I thought why don't I move where the TV is like move this area like make this area into my filming area there's no reason for anybody to walk by their sofas are still available for everybody to watch TV and the TV's over there and there's, it's great. I love the layout, it's totally great. But moving furniture around, blah, blah, blah. And I had just, Kavita helped me arrange all the yarn behind me in the last podcast. You might have noticed it. It was all super cute with little swatches and it was all nice and rainbow. And now, no rainbow behind me. I'm rainbowless. So I was remembering this really great trip I went on to Deany Beach, love it, for, it was in January, I think I went with one of my knitting friends, thanks so much, it was great, and one of the bedspreads on one of the beds was spectacular. It was fabric, but the print on the fabric is awesome, like those colors are great. And it was joined with, or each color, in between each color was like this metallic-y, beige -y, great thing. And all the colors were jewelry, and all of them had a sparkle and it was just, it was like luxurious looking. So I really liked it. She really liked it. She was going to make it for me in cotton bamboo, or she still is making it for me in cotton bamboo. But we're waiting for the proper yarn colors 
in the cotton bamboo because cotton bamboo colors that I can get are all kind of washed out. It's all like mature. There's no slam and pink. There's no jewel tones. So, but it's fine. But anyway, that's what's holding that one back, that little project. Then for this sofa, I was like, oh my gosh, that's what I could do. I could do that blanket for the top of this sofa. So I still have my rainbow and it's right here and it would just belong here all the time. So I may or may not have started. If you're on Instagram, you would have seen it already or you would have seen my yarn colors. Ta-da! So this is four rows of double crochet and then one row of single crochet in metallic and then the next color and then two rows of single crochet and each color has like two shades so there's two shades of like red pink and two shades of the orange and then instead of yellow to go along with the pattern uh, it has the two uh, colors of beige like goldeny beige and then green and then blue is here not started or not finished and then purple is here and then it goes back to the red in the on the bedspread on the inspiration the colors were not totally in order the blue and purple I think are mixed up and the green is in a different spot and I loved it but I think it'll look like I don't know my rainbow or like it, it, it'll yeah so I'm doing mine in the rainbow order I'm just I just changed I swapped out yellows for the beiges but I'm really loving it. So that is gonna go along here, like this. It'll be my little sofa cover. Let me see it, where is it at? Oh, I'm still behind it. Oh no, this way. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. So it'll just go along the back of the sofa like that, just for some color and some, some bling, blingability. So I'm feeling that, I'm loving that. It works out super quick, half double crochet. Can't go wrong with that. So that is what I have been working on. And obviously the room, hot, 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 hot mess. Would you like to see the mess? I mean, it's bad. I dumped out my drawers. I dumped out, like I, I gutted everything and only put this back. I know. And it's Wednesday. I did it on Sunday. Okay, here. Don't judge. <laughs> right don't judge so that is what I've been working on it's cray cray like there's so much I have to put back all my crochet hooks are hot mess like there's a lot of stuff although I did find my another pack of my clover needles which I absolutely love they're my favorite okay that December favorites I'm not talking about it okay that's what I'm working on that's why my nails are all busted look Debbie check out that hot mess look I don't even have one here awful my thumb too gone 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 so forgive me but there's a good reason for it I'm not biting them off I'm working them off <laughs> anyway that is my news that's what I've been up to and also started my Amazon shopping which I'm super excited about like mostly Christmas presents for the kids and some crochet things for me so those will be coming sometime in December and I'll do an unboxing but I cannot upload the unboxing until after Christmas because my kids are old enough to watch the unboxing and find out what they're getting. No joke. But I'm really looking forward to that. It's super fun. So we're also changing up the out and about videos again. So what I'm going to do, if it's super interesting, like going to the museum, like that would be a separate video, or going to BizBuzz, that would be a separate video. But if it's going to go find coffee filters or a swimming pool for the kids, I'm just going to keep that as a video at the end of a podcast. So it's something fun for us to share and something for you to look forward to, but not like a totally separate event. So that kind of makes sense. And thank you so much for all of your feedback and your suggestions and ideas. I really appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to share your opinion with me. I always like to see how you feel about things that I am also wondering about. So thank you so much for participating. Question of the day where are you from where are you from and where are you hooking from so i'm from canada i was born in maidstone saskatchewan which is only because the town i lived in Payton, didn't have a hospital so i'm from Payton, saskatchewan and then i went to elementary school in jasper alberta 
and I went to high school and lived my life until I was 30 something in Vancouver. So I migrated slowly west and then in 2001 I moved to Nairobi, Kenya. So I've been here ever since and I hook from Nairobi. So where do you hook from? Where are you from and where are you hooking from? I'd love to know so leave it in the comments box below. And thank you so much for everybody who has joined our community. I really appreciate it. It feels like uh, there's real friends out there like I have real friends that I don't know in real life but I feel like I do know you and I hope you feel the same about me so if you haven't introduced yourself in the comments box below I would totally appreciate you doing so I'd love to get to know you and find out a little bit about you so thanks so much the video after this is me and the kids going for Diwali lunch so we're all dressed up I'll show you a little picture and we're going for a big feast it was awesome I loved it so thank you so much for watching. We will see you on Friday, hopefully, for, to join in on the live chat and then next week for another podcast. And of course, there's tutorials in between here and there. So thank you so much, everybody. Have a super great day and stay hooked. It is Diwali. We are going to family lunch. And this is a way that I don't often go, so I thought I would film it while I had a driver. Oh, look at the old church over there. That's cool. It is hot out. 30 degrees. 12.54. Oh yeah, and we saw a helicopter, didn't we, Ollie? Yeah. We found one, two, three, three. We found one. I don't drive here. It's crazy. <laughs> Isn't it bad? <laughs> Did you? Yeah, is that familiar? Yeah, it could be. It was a place like that. Mm -hmm. Recycling style. Look how many there are. Nice. Just your body, dude. And no, we no longer fit in this lane. This is called going the back way.
another another one. That is number two that I saw. But you know better than me. You're very good at finding them. You do have a good brain. Your brain is very good. It's juicy. Juicy brains you have. There really is a lot in the city. Because you saw so many? Yeah. And then a little garbage on the side. Yeah. Look. Bye ya. Bye ya. Bye ya. Banana. We're banana. You're a banana. little birdies. 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 Oh, someone's getting a lift. Okay, you look for jet fighters. Up there, they're all little tiles. It's quite pretty. <laughs> That's from Cat in the Hat. Okay, here we sit. So this is like the big bus stage. They call it Machaco's Airport. They call it Machaco's Airport. 
because all the buses sit in this area, like to go up country. And then there's tons of places that sell coffins. Because I guess when you go home, somebody's died to go for a funeral. So you can like hop on a bus with a brand new, freshly made coffin. But there was a big bus parked in front of the coffin, coffin shop. I always found it quite fascinating. And this Machacos Airport, this side. This is Gekko Ba. This is Gekko Ba, yeah? yeah? If you go down in there. That's where you can, oh, they make all these things. Like literally make them. And then you hire one of these guys to on a cart to bring it back out, like onto the road, because taxis can't get in there. Huh? Juakali. Ah, the handmade. Look at all that great stuff. the wheel bros is painting them. I don't know why they're always blue. But they're always blue. Bus. Cute. Nikki. I get it, I get it. Nikki. I like it. I think it's cool. Yeah. It's sassy. She's got oh. eyelashes. Give you that. And what are they doing on that side? I don't know. Strapping? Metal strapping? Matumba. It's actually quite a big Matumba. There's sea between the lorries. But it's basically 
secondhand clothing and now there's bogus. And now we're going up to go over the train tracks. If we'll be able to see. Those are all the tattoos. Waiting for rush hour. Down there are train tracks. where they call it go down I haven't done it yet. Huh? I don't know. Why? No. Okay. Milwaukee. Nothing but heavy duty. Yeah, baby. Uh, 
Yeah, you know, Dad's here. We have reached our destination. Those are my two fops. My two, no, my two almost finished objects. So those are my two ah, fops. I'm happy with it, I'm cool with it. Now, this is the third time I filmed this, don't start. So if I'm out of breath or frazzled, that's why. Okay, <laughs> technical difficulties, don't start me. So thank you so much for watching everybody. We will chat on Friday for another live chat and next week for a podcast, same as this. And we'll also have a video, uh, videos, word. I really hope it filmed. Oh my gosh, I hope it filmed. I'll go crazy. I'll pull my hair out. I'll go crazy and pull my hair out. No, I won't. I'll get a glass of wine.